Well, pools have understandably been popular in this heat. Many communities, though, have struggled to keep pools open over the last few years because of a shortage of lifeguards. And that shortage is continuing this summer, but not in Denver. Denver 7's Jason Grenauer explains. On a hot summer day, the public pool is the place to be. But for so long, instead of at capacity, so many of Denver's public pools. Last year in 2022, we had to close about half of the pools. All because there weren't enough of these folks. We didn't have enough lifeguards to keep all of the pools open. That included this pool at the La Alma Rec Center. This pool was closed for three years. So the city of Denver took a hard look at their hiring process using their own internal Peak Academy group. How can we make this process better? What can we cut out to make sure that we're getting enough lifeguards hired for the next season? They modified the hiring process, cutting out red tape and simplifying it for applicants. It was a really simple process. New lifeguard Riley Minogue-Rao was one of the dozens of new lifeguards that came aboard in Denver. They actually increased hiring by 57%. And most importantly, all of the pools are open. Making the public pool the open and fully staffed place to be. Lots of people love this pool and it's really great to be back open again. I'm Jason Grenow, Denver 7. And Boulder also bouncing back from this lifeguard shortage. Parks and Rec says it hired 215 lifeguards this year to staff the pools. The department spent $82,000 this summer to get new recruits tra trained. And for the first time since 2020, the popular Spruce Pool opened this summer. This time last year, just one pool was open for the whole summer. The city operating with just 70% of the needed staff.